you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. Pull up, we bust, and not for discussion. We play with drums like shit is percussion. Stay with a hammer like this is construction. Drink too much Henny, my shooter. What's good, YouTube man? It's Clutch. You back out with another video. Today's video, we got the top three best point guard builds as a patch 13 in NBA 2K20. Now, if you guys see my community tab, man, I told you guys I was bringing back the top three best build series, and I asked you guys which one you wanted to see. Majority voted for the point guard, so that's why we're doing this video today. There are going to be timestamps in the comment section below. Somebody can make the timestamp, and I will pin the comment for all three builds. Also, I do want to let you guys know that these videos do take a long time to make. I'm making this sort of content for you guys, man. So if you could show your appreciation by hitting the like button, hitting the subscribe button, it would really mean a lot. And also, my next top three best build video, I'm going to have you guys vote on my community tab. So make sure if you want to see a particular position made in my next video, go vote on my community tab. But without further ado, we're going to get straight into the video. So the very first build is going to be the two-way slashing playmaker. Obviously, everybody knew this build was going to be on the list. You can't have top three best point guards without the two-way slashing playmaker make this build a point guard and this other stuff does not matter that's personal and preface now moving on to skill breakdown with this build man of course we are going to pick the defensive playmaking pie chart this build is going to be able to get 61 badges so make sure you guys do pick this pie chart moving on to physical profile of this build man there's three physical profiles you can pick all agility agility and vertical or the balance pie chart now it's really up to you personally i'm gonna just recommend you pick agility and vertical but you can pick whatever you want moving on to that make sure you guys do it just like this see so get the maximum badges possible you are going to max out your close shot max out driving layup driving dunk which will give you 11 finishing badges now you are going to max out mid-range three-pointer free throw and your post fade put this to i think one point off of the max yeah put this to a 70 pass accuracy you are going to put this one point off of the max to an 88 and max out your ball handling just like that moving on to defense max out perimeter defense lateral steel and these remaining 33 upgrades put that on your defensive rebounding that will give you a total of nine extra badges will give you 20 defensive rebounding badges in total and you guys can see Here's the build. You get 11 finishing, 10 shooting, 20 playmaking, and 20 defensive rebounding. You can add that up. That's a total of 61 badges for this two-way slashing playmaker build. Everybody knows by now this is the most overpowered point guard build in the game, if not one of the most overpowered builds in the game, period. I know some of you guys just got the game for free with PS Plus, and if you still haven't heard about this build, hey, I'm putting you on. This is a really nice point guard build. 61 badges. If you hit Legend, this build is going to have 101 badges. That is absolutely insane. Now, moving on to Sosta, man. Body shape does not matter. It's really just personal preference. However you want your player to look, go ahead. I'm going to just pick Burley. Moving on to the height, you want to make your player 6 foot 5. That is the best height for the build. That's just the best height for point guards in general. You're going to have contact dunks. You have an 87 driving dunk. You will be able to unlock the pro elite and small contact dunks off rip so you'll be dunking on people right off the gates and you can speed boost so you have really good defense make sure you guys do make the build six foot five moving on to the way it was built you could go up on the weight or you can go lower on the weight i think i'm gonna put the weight to 178 pounds the reason why i'm picking the oddball weight if you go under that you notice you're not gaining anything you're just losing minus one strength so there's really no point of going low so go 178 pounds moving on to the wingspan's build now i know some people are saying oh i don't want a tiny wingspan with a two-way build now here's the thing if you think you can't shoot good with a 67 three-pointer you're definitely going to want to minimize your wingspan all the way down which will give you a 69 three-pointer now here's the thing if you hit 99 overall you get a plus four to all your attributes so whenever you're 99 you're going to have a 73 three-pointer and a 79 mid-range those are really easy to shoot with if your three-pointer mid-range are at least a 70 you can shoot pretty consistently in this game and you have an 88 ball handling with a 91 speed you're going to be able to speed those off rip easily i'm recommending minimize it all the way down now if you want to go medium or if you even want to go long go ahead but personally i'm recommending minimize it all the way down you're still going to have really good defense and you're going to be able to shoot a lot better moving on to take over this bill man now you can pick whatever takeover you want but for me the most appealing is slasher takeover you can get three contact dunk animations the pro contact dunks the elite contact dunks and the small contact dunks Having Slasher Takeover will make your build that much more overpowered. It will increase the chances of you getting contact dunks and it will help you finish those contact dunks in traffic. So I'm recommending pick Slasher, but if you want someone to take over, go ahead. This is just my personal recommendation. And you guys can see, here's the build. You have built a two-way slashy playmaker similar to Russell Westbrook, Steve Francis, and John Morant. Now to get straight into the best badges for the build, man, like I do in every single videos, I'm gonna show you guys the best badges in my opinion. Let's put this to 99 overall real quick. We're not gonna waste any time here. 99 overall real quick. Like I said, you get three 
three contact dunk animations off rip. So you will be dunking on people with this build. Definitely want contact finisher. I would say fancy fork and slithery finisher. Those three badges have to be on gold for sure. Now two upgrades left. There's a couple different badges you can go with. Acrobat, consistent finisher, giant slayer, relentless finisher. Like I said, there's plenty of good badges. I think I'm gonna just go relentless finisher. Moving on to shooting badges build. We have 10 shooting badges. You definitely want quick draw for this build. Gold rain extender. I would say gold hot zone hunter and probably bronze dead eye. I feel like these are the best shooting badges for this build. Now you guys are probably saying only 10 shooting badges. Now if you're new to the game, you probably don't know that. You could shoot consistently with 10 shooting badges. All you really need is just 10 shooting badges to shoot consistently in this game. You don't need 20, you don't need 15. All you need is 10 if you put these four badges on. Man, you're gonna be able to shoot really consistently in this game. Moving on to playmaking badges build. We have 20 playmaking badges. You definitely want handles for days. Quick first step. I'm gonna throw on space creator as well. Unpluggable, I think I'm gonna throw this badge on silver. Now you have six upgrades left. I think I'm gonna do a Hall of Fame floor general and silver bailout now floor general it's gonna help your teammates out a lot it's gonna give them a plus four to all their offensive capabilities now if you're playing with the shooting center man it's gonna really help them out having floor general on and if you have the playmaker takeover man they should not miss wide open and bailout's gonna help you pass out of jump shots or layups without the pass going flying out of bounds so i feel like these are the best playmaking badges for this build moving on to defensive badges build you have 20 defensive badges really nice for a point guard build you definitely want your hall of fame clamps hall of fame intimidator pick dodger is an iffy badge you don't need this badge hall of fame but i personally feel like it's good to have the badge at least silver now i know some people don't like that badge if you don't want it don't throw it on but i say silver at least now I definitely am going to recommend throwing bronze chase down artists. I feel like you got to have this badge bronze on every single build you make in this game. I'm also going to recommend throwing bronze rim protector. Now interceptor, I do want this badge, so I think I'm going to throw this badge. Honestly, I think I'm going to throw this badge on Hall of Fame. I like having Hall of Fame interceptor. Combined with the max steal, having Hall of Fame interceptor, man, you're going to intercept so many passing lanes. If you know how to bait the defense into throwing steals, man, Interceptor is going to be a very nice badge. I'm also going to recommend throwing Hall of Fame Pogo Stick for this build. But that's build number one, man. Let's get straight into the second build of this video. All right, y'all. Moving on to build number two. We got the two-way, three-level facilitator. Make sure you guys do make this build a point guard. And this other stuff does not matter. That's personal preference. Now, moving on to skill breaking out this build, man. You are going to be picking the defensive shooting pie chart. You're going to have Hall of Fame shooting badges, Hall of Fame defensive badges. Make sure you guys do pick this pie chart. Moving on to physical profile of this build, man. Now, you could pick one of these other pie charts like agility and vertical or the balance pie chart. But personally, I don't want my speed dropping below a 90. So, I'm going to recommend you pick all agility. Now, moving on to the action time, make sure you guys do it just like this so you get the maximum bad as possible. You are going to max out your close shot, max out driving layup, max out driving dunk, so you get six finishing badges. Now, moving on to shooting, max out mid-range shot, three-point shot, free throw, and your post fade. Put this to a 77, which is two points off of the max. Now, moving on to playmaking, max out pass accuracy, max out ball handling, and put your post moves up by two, so you get 11 playmaking badges. Now, moving on to defense, you are going to max out perimeter, lateral, steal, and these remaining 32 upgrades. Put that to your defensive rebounding. Put this to a 76, just like that. So you get 19 defensive rebounding badges. Any ice and see? Here's the build. You get six finishing, 18 shooting, 11 playmaking, and 19 defensive rebounding. You can add that up. That's a total of 54 badges for this two-way, three-level facilitator build. Now, yeah, this build does get seven less badges than the two-way slashing playmaker. Now, yeah, this build does get seven less badges than the two-way slashing playmaker, but I think this is a really good build because it gets Hall of Fame shooting badges. Though. The other one only gets gold. If you think you can't shoot consistently with only 10, you may want to consider making this build because you still got pretty much the exact same defense. Now, making this build, you are lacking on playmaking and finishing, but honestly, it's still a perfectly good build. Now, moving on to the Star man, body shape does not matter. Personally, I'm going to just pick Burley. I like making my players Burley. It doesn't affect anything whatsoever so go ahead and pick whatever moving on to how it's build you do want to make the build six foot five that's going to be a common theme in this video the best height for point guards is six foot five period so make sure you guys do make the build six foot five Moving on to weightless build, I'm recommending minimize your weight all the way down just to get some better acceleration, better vertical, and better lateral quickness. Pretty simple and straightforward. Moving on to wingspan let's build. Now, here's a very key thing. You do need a 76 ball handling to speed boost. Actually, let me rephrase that. You need at least a 76 ball handling. The reason why I'm telling you that is because if you pick the playmaker slash for takeover, that gives you a plus 10 to your ball handling with takeover. So 76 plus 10, that will give you an 86 ball handling. 
and that's the ball handle you need to be able to speed with an NBA 2K20. So I'm gonna recommend you minimize your wingspan just one inch off of the default. Now again, you could go low wingspan if you want better shooting and better ball handling, but personally, I feel like this build is better if you don't do that. I feel like it's better if you have decently long arms, just so you can play some better defense. Now, like I said, you can play really good defense with minimum arms still. I'm just doing this just so you have a little bit better defense. You still got in the 80 shooting and 18 shooting badges. Plus, you got Hall of Fame shooting badges. You'll be really good. You don't really need minimum wingspan to shoot good with this build because you already have 81 three-pointer and 81 mid-range. So I'm recommending you put your wingspan to 79.8. Moving on to takeovers with Bill Man. Now, like I said, you want a speed boost, you have to pick Playmaker. None of these other takeovers will give you high enough of a boost to your ball handle to be able to speed boost. So I'm recommending you pick Playmaker. Now, if you don't care about speed boost, then go ahead and pick some other takeover. It's up to you. But I'm recommending you pick playmaker it's gonna make the build that much more overpowered and you guys can see here's the build you have built a two-way three-level facilitator similar to steve francis to jonte murray and stephen curry very nice build now we're gonna get straight into the best badge for this build man like i do in every single one of my videos i'm gonna show you guys the best badges you guys already know the drill this is just my personal recommendation put this to 9 and overall real quick now finishing badges you have only six unfortunately no contact dunks with this build your driving dunk is a 78 when you hit 9 and overall you get a plus four so you're going to have an 82 driving Dunk. unfortunately like i said no contact dunks you're two points off of getting contact dunks which really does suck but still having an 82 driving dunk you still will be able to unlock some pretty good dunk packages so keep that in mind with this build i'm recommending you throw on silver contact finisher silver fancy fork and silver slithery finisher i feel like these are gonna be the best finishing badges to build just to evenly space it out you could do two gold badges but i feel like doing three silver is way more balanced moving on to shooting badges build me out 18 shooting badges i definitely recommend you throw on hall of fame quick draw Hall of Fame Rain Extender, Hall of Fame Hot Zone Hunter, Green Machine Hall of Fame as well. Now two upgrades left, actually no, I'm not gonna do Green Machine Hall of Fame, I'm gonna do this badge on Gold and I'm gonna do Gold Deadeye. I feel like these are gonna be the best shooting badges to build. Moving on to Playmaking Badges build, we have 11 Playmaking Badges, not the most in the world, but really that's all you need to be good in this game. You definitely want handles for today's quick first step and probably space creator, that's what I would do personally. Two upgrades left, Unpluckable, you definitely need this badge. So this is what I'm gonna recommend you do for Playmaking Badges. Now moving on to Defensive Badges build, we have 19 Defensive Badges, pretty good for a guard build. I'm gonna do the badges pretty similar to the two-way slashy Playmaker, you definitely want Hall of Fame Clamps, Hall of Fame Intimidator, Silver Pick Dodger, Bronze Chase Down Artist, I think I'm gonna do Bronze Rim Protect. Protector. Now you have seven upgrades left. I'm gonna do Hall of Fame Interceptor and Gold Pogo Stick. I feel like these are gonna be the best defensive rebounding badges for this build. Like I told you guys, you can have a little bit longer wingspan with this build and a max steal. Having Hall of Fame Interceptor, it's gonna help you out so much. I love having Hall of Fame Interceptor on. If you know how to bait on defense, you're gonna catch a lot of interceptions with this build with Hall of Fame Interceptor. But that's build number two, man. Let's get straight into the final build of this video. Now, moving on to the final build of this video, it is going to be the offensive threat. Now, there is an honorable mention. The build that could have made the list was the slashing playmaker, the one with the playmaking and finishing pie chart and the all playmaking. That is also another solid build. If this was a top four best point guard, that build for sure would have been on the list. It's still a great build. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like the offensive threat is better. So now to get straight into it, make sure you guys do make this build a point guard and such stuff does not matter. That's personal preference. Now, moving on to skill breakdown of this build, man. Of course, the best way to make an offensive threat is picking this pie chart you're gonna have hall of fame finishing badges and hall of fame shooting badges make sure you guys do pick this pie chart moving on to physical profile this build man i'm recommending you pick all agility so you have the maximum speed possible which will allow you to speed boost so if you want to pick some other pie chart go ahead but personally i want to have the maximum speed possible so i'm recommending you pick this one moving on to the action time make sure you guys look just like this so you get the maximum badges possible you're going to put your close shot to an 88 which is two points off of max max out driving layup and max out driving dunk for a total of 15 finishing badges. Moving on to shooting, max out mid-range shot, three-point shot, free throw, and your post fade to an 89, which gives you 21 shooting badges. Now moving on to playmaking, max out pass accuracy, ball handling, post moves, put this to a uh, 42, so you get 14 playmaking badges. Now moving on to defense, Max up perimeter, lateral, steal, and these remaining 39 upgrades. Put that to your defensive rebound just like that. So you get eight defensive rebounding badges. And you guys can see, here's the build. You get 15 finishing, 21 shooting, 14 playmaking, and eight defensive rebounding. You can add that up. That's a total of 58 badges for this offensive threat build. This is a really good build. It's gonna be able to get contact dunks. You have Hall of Fame shooting badges. You have pretty decent playmaking, and you have really good defense. This is a really 
well-rounded build. I know a lot of you guys will like this build. Moving on to Celeste Man. Body shape does not matter. It's really just personal preference. Like I've said with the other two builds, I'm going to just make my player burly because that's how I like my player to look personally. Moving on to the height with this build. Personally, I feel like the best height for you is going to be 6'2 or 6'3. I know some people take the build down to 6'2, but I feel like that's too short. 6'3 is a good in-between height because you're not losing anything for going shorter. So I'm recommending you make the build 6'3. Moving on to the this build, I'm recommending you minimize your weight all the way down to 170 pounds to get better acceleration better vertical and better lateral quickness moving on to the wingspan's build i'm also going to recommend you minimize this all the way down just to get some better shooting and some better ball handling you have an 85 mid-range and an 83 three-pointer at 99 overall you get a plus four to all your attributes so you're going to have an 89 mid-range shot and an 87 three-point shot so those are really insane your ball handle is going to be a 90 you're going to have an 87 driver dunk now here's the thing you're not going to be able to get contact dunks off rip with this build you will have to wait till you hit 97 overall to unlock the pro contact dunks. Then when you hit 98 overall, you'll get the elite and small contact dunks. So 97 overall for pro contact dunks and 98 overall for small and elite contact dunks. Keep that in mind with this build. Make sure you guys do minimize your wingspan all the way down. Moving on to takeovers with build, man. Honestly, there's three good takeovers you could pick. Slasher, shot creator, sharpshooter. For this build, I don't really see you picking playmaker. I couldn't see you picking it. I don't think it's a good option personally. Like I said, you could pick it if you want to. I'm just throwing my opinion out there. Shot creator is not a bad option, but personally, I think sharpshooter is a better option than shot creator and slasher is a really nice option for sure for me it's between slasher and sharpshooter i feel like you already have 21 shooting bats you don't really need sharpshooter takeover i mean it's gonna help you out a lot either way but still you don't really need it so i think i'm gonna just recommend you pick slasher and he has to see here's the build you have built an offensive threat similar to mahmoud abdul Rauf, trey young and kyrie irving very nice build. Now we're gonna get straight to the best badges for this build, man. Like I do in every single of my videos, I'm gonna show you guys the badges real quick for this build. Let's get this out the way, put this to 99 overall real quick, just like that. Now you got 15 finishing badges. Like I said, 97 overall for pro contact dunks, 98 overall for elite and small contact dunks. Hall of Fame contact finisher, fancy fork, and slithery finisher. Those three badges off rip have to be on hall of fame now most of the time i usually go with like relentless finisher for the badge but i feel like since you're only six foot three you got to have on giant slayer six foot three is pretty short this badge will activate against anybody that's taller than you but it works best against defenders that are six foot eight and taller so i feel like these are gonna be the best finishing badges to this build moving on to shooting badges build we have 21 shooting badges really nice you definitely want hall of fame quick draw hall of fame rain extender hall of fame hot soul hunter green machine you can go silver on this badge i know some people like it on silver but i think i'm gonna just do hall of fame now five upgrade left i kind of want a dead eye actually i think i'm gonna just do it like this hall of fame dead eye and probably bronze difficult shots i feel like this is the best way to rearrange your shooting badge now you could do clutch shooter flexible release volume shooter steady shooter a lot of good badges but this is what i would go with personally moving on to playmaking badges build me have 14 playmaking badges that's really all you need in this game handles for days Quick first step, I would say Space Creator Unpluckable. I think I'm gonna go down to Silver on this badge. Now you have three upgrades left. Now you could go Bailout, but personally, I think I'm gonna save these upgrades for Dimer or Floor Gen or whatever one you prefer. They're both gonna help your teammates out. They're not gonna really help you out besides getting you an assist. I think I'm gonna throw on Dimer. Now, like I said, you want Floor General. If you think that's a better badge, go ahead. Or even Ankle Breaker. Hey, if you wanna help yourself out, go ahead. Blob City Passer. Like I said, there's plenty of good badges. Go ahead and do whatever you want to do. Moving on to defensive badges build. When you have eight defensive badges, that's really all you need for defensive badges. Definitely want gold clamps, gold intimidator. Those two badges, without a doubt, have to be on gold. Now, I definitely want bronze chase down artist. Now, one upgrade left. I would say probably do either rim protector or pick dodger. Now, I think I'm going to do rim protector. Having bronze rim protector, it's going to help you get a block here and there. Like I said, we didn't touch block, but having rim protector, it will give you some blocks here and there. But that's pretty much it, man. That's the top three best point guard builds as of patch 13 in NBA 2K20. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, man, make sure you guys do the like button, subscribe. If you guys seen on my community tab, I asked you guys what position you wanted to see cover first. Majority voted for point guards. So I'm going to make another post on my community tab where you guys can vote if you guys want to see shooting guards, small forwards, power forwards, or centers first. Majority wins, as always. So make sure you guys do vote. And once again, these videos do take a long time to make. So make sure you guys do the subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, hit the like button, turn on notifications. But that's pretty much it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, clutch out. I'm feeling your energy. And shorty, man, she really enemy. I got lots of enemies. And they wanna act like they friends with me.